Lunatic Fringe! The following contest is a handicap elimination match. And from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Raw just turned into an asylum. Sure, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. The guy may sleep in a bedroom with padded walls, but one thing is undeniable. When Ambrose steps inside the ring, he is dangerous and one of the best in recent history. The big dog looks ready to bite tonight, guys. And look at those eyes. Nothing but ice. Same. Samoa Joe does what he wants when he wants. 
A very dangerous, dangerous man. This is going to be good. And from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Listen to this place. I believe the most polarizing superstar in WWE history. The greatest of all time, John Cena, set for action here tonight. And we're off with what has the makings of a potentially very ugly handicap match. And with a handicap match like this, things are bound to get out of hand. Oh, I don't even think the lunatic Prince knows what he's going to do moment to moment. Now, I quit trying to make sense of Ambrose a long time ago. I was getting headaches. Here we go. Oh, man. Harsh impact. Wow, look at that combination punch. You've got to believe this one's over. Dean Ambrose is scaling the ropes. Corey, tell me. How much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Truth starting to stall a bit here. Oh, man. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Well, I don't think his performance here tonight is necessarily one I would point to if I were to struck an up and cover on how to win a handicap match. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Boom! <laughs> handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic A. Wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time. But one man is in the ring, and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap match. Some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fall up 
opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. You can't mention Dean Ambrose without mentioning The Shield. Ambrose was one third of that elite faction and since then has become one of the most successful superstars in WWE. Here he goes. That was a tear the features clean off your face. Oh, it's over. That's how you wear down your opponent. Earlier, Corey, you talked about Dean Ambrose's time in the Shield. During that period, he held the United States Championship for 351 days. After the group disbanded, Ambrose also became an Intercontinental Champion. When the Shield split, each member blazed their own trail. But with Dean Ambrose, it's like... We saw the lunatic fringe evolve in front of our eyes and open the Ambrose Asylum. He also became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, two three, and four men and made looked so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Ooh. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply a Superman punch! Nice, shut it down. Nobody does it better, Ooh. Michael. I don't think he should get up. He always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, Roman Reigns saw that one coming. What a stomp! Good grief! That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without he might have Superman punch. This could be the turning point, Cole. My goodness, that connected. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. He wants no fish. I'm not sure how much he has left. This is exact. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if 
we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolve. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars. Because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman it was almost like witnessing a massacre. Right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced. Before. Guys, I noticed the demeanor of Samoa's face never changes. That look of disgust, that look of focus, that Old, calculating body language Samoa Joe holds on to to maintain his dominance. It's something that has turned Joe's air into something to fear. Owen oh, Reigns just too fast for him. Oh boy, he is rolling. When you made your observation of Samoa Joe's demeanor, Byron, it painted a chilling picture. I can only imagine how front he was. Superman punch! Good night! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Nailed it. When this guy... Dean Ambrose, he looks like he's got this. Gentlemen, of the three of us, I don't have much argument over who is the bravest because Corey has actually been in the ring with Samoa Joe. Well, I consider myself brave. This might be it. Oh, my. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Oh, man. Joe doesn't even know where he is. He wants no part of the outside. Beautiful technique. We know Rick. Counting Corey's a he's looking at it. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. He might have just ended this. I'm not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Line. I can't believe it, Michael. Before we ever set foot in WWE, Samoa Joe is a world travel veteran racking up champion promotions across the globe. And before WWE, the Samoa submission machine had already done battle with the likes of John Cena. Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles throughout his story career. We 
touched a bit on Samoa Joe's storied career. Despite his pedigree, the thought of Joe entering a WWE ring seemed to be relegated to only our imaginations. And I am oh so glad to see his presence as a... Clearly going for it all with a move like that. Wow, Ambrose is a man that simply will not quit. Back now inside the ring. Dropkick hits the mark. Dean Ambrose finds himself in a tough spot. This very well may be too much for him to handle. It's going to be hard for him to win this handy. Cat match if he doesn't somehow find a way to fend off some of this punishment he's taken. Oh, nasty impact. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all. Oh, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Our truth is speaking truth to power right now. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and get looking for the exclamation point. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Superman punch. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's almost got him. Bear! I don't like how this is looking for our truth. Here's the cover. And he breaks the pin. He's got him where he wants it, buddy. Uh... Samoa Joe looking overwhelmed right now. This might just be the end of the road for cover, cover. attack looking for a repeat big time slam vicious but i don't know how much gas he has left guys what a slam michael These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Showing some quickness there. Uh oh he's in trouble here. He's close to being done here.
You gotta believe this one's over. And one more time. Oh boy, he is rolling. We know what this means. You're a nogi! To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. showboating too much here. This could be it. Might be too late. This might be it. Oh, my. But he's got to capitalize now. He's moving. Confidence now, guys. Oh, boy. He is rolling. like Ambrose's chances here at all. The end is near for him. And look at the quickness by Cena. Great job escape. Been trying to turn this thing around. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Oh, there's the receipt. Ambrose can put him away here, Cole. Down right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. It's Dean Ambrose making a move. Harsh impact. Ambrose can put him away here, Cole. All that's left now is for Ambrose to finish. Look at that. Boy, he is rolling. Dean Ambrose has his eyes on his target, folks. He's making a statement here with it. He's fighting. Here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. Cena ready to close it out. You can't see me. And the five knuckle shuffle. Boom. And there it is, boys. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. He's not going to go. Quietly, no superstar worth his salt ever does. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. 
This one's for good measure. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. Oh, an elbow drop. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. I like the combination punch. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? He gets it with a reversal. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. Things are not looking very good right now. Going to have to find a way to regroup. Close line! Well, oh, that'll leave a mark. I think we know what this is. Attitude adjustment. Can he finish him off here? Here we go for the win! Two, three! This handicap match is over. That's what makes a handicap match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. Remember this? I remember this part very well. He's getting after it here. And finally... Here are your winners! A decade and a half of dominance.
The following oh, contest yeah. is scheduled for one ball. Making his way to oh, the man. ring. There it is. And we have unofficially started here. Yeah, this referee won't put up with too much of this. They need to get in the ring so we can officially start here. Feeling the effects. Was this one ruled a no contest? This is the case of a referee not understanding the responsibility that goes along with having so much power. <laughs> 